Okay class, today we are going to learn about the general senses. Open your textbooks and let's take notes. Alright, now I'm just kidding. So, the first one, pain receptors or nociceptors, are classified into three different classes. Fast pain, slow pain, and referred pain. Fast pain happens because the axons are myelinated. And the reason why you receive the signal so quickly is because once the stimulus has arrived, say you hit your leg on something and it hurts. The reason why you get that pain so quick is because the signal will travel a clock across nodes that are myelinated and then they have to jump over uh, a gap, the node the rambier, that little space and that carries the signal faster. That's why we can receive it and then we can pull back as fast as we received it so that our pain doesn't increase. The second one is called slow pain and the reason why we get it is because the axons are unmyelinated <coughs> which makes also which makes more sense because if we got it very quickly and it prolonged because slow pain is a chronic pain, it, it will keep going on and on for a while. If we, if it was fast as well, instead of having a general sensation of that pain, it would be pinpoint. So imagine instead of having a cardiac pain going all around your arm and just in here, a very minute and pinpoint pain somewhere in your heart, right around that area, that pain would be much greater than what you would be feeling if it was just a general area. And then we have referred pain, which goes along with what I said of slow pain. You, because the pain field is much bigger and isn't as accurate, you can't necessarily tell where it is. You can just get a general sense of, oh, it hurts around here or there. You can't literally tell exactly what organ is hurting or something. So if I have a stomach pain, I won't be able to say that it hurts exactly right here. I'll just say it hurts in the whole stomach area, the abdominal part. Our next sense is thermoceptors and there's not much to say about them other than there's like three or four times more cold receptors than heat because it's easier to get cold than it is to warm up your body and get hot. Our next sense is mechanoreceptors or tactile receptors. They're broken into three classes, tactile, baroceptors and proprioceptors. <clears throat> Tactile receptors have six different forms. There are free nerve endings, which I like to think of as a spider web. The spider web has many different connections and like loops like that. The free nerve endings would be your hand and this is a spider web. The free nerve endings would attach on here. So if something stimulates it over here, like gets that pull, it'll vibrate all the way down and then that'll signal uh, the free nerve endings. So that's where you get the signal. Free nerve endings help with pressure and that's why you can touch anywhere and you will feel that pressure because it just stimulates it. It also helps that it's in the epidermis. The second one is root hair plexus, which, so say this this is a nerve fiber, uh, a hair fiber, the nerves will just wrap around it, so if your hair is just pulled back or moved at all, it'll move and that's what's going to move your nerves as well, and that's what sends the signal so that you can receive that. The next one, tactile discs or Merkel's corpuscles, are they're they're just a touch one, another fine touch. It's just nerve nerve endings, but they look like bulbs, little bulbs like this, and then with the line, they're in the deepest part of the epidermis, so they'll be down here, epidermis, dermis. It'll be in this area right here, and when they're stimulated they send chemical signals to the neurons.
The next two are tactile corpse suckles or Meissner's corpse suckles and laminated corpse suckles or Piscinian corpse suckles. The reason why I put them both together is because they both deal with oscillation. Oscillation is when you have the same movement going this way and this way. Like I mentioned, I'm so you're going the 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 like that, right? The reason why that is relevant to both of those, Meisner's and Pensinian, is because they both look very circular. There, there's not much difference between them. They just both look very round. And what that happens is, well, there's a vibration, like the music going on right here. It's oscillating through the air, going back and forth, and that's going to hit those receptors. Once the receptors are hit, it's going to move back and forth like this, and that's why you can feel vibrations because they oscillate those two. Meissner's are the ones where you can hear low vibrations while the senior hear high vibrations. The last form is Ruffini, which is kind of just like free nerve endings except it's in the dermis, the deepest part of it. The next type is borrowed receptors and it pretty much just deals with constriction and dilation. The reason why is because it's an autonomic function. So if something's going on inside of your body, like for example, a stress, you're exercising, so you need more, you need more oxygen. Your lungs are going to be working harder. They're going to be expanding and contracting faster and harder. That stress is going to tell, your, your body's going to notice it so it's going to dilate the blood vessels throughout your body and in your lungs so that way you can receive more oxygen, more blood, all that stuff. It also works the same way. Constriction, if you're resting, it's going to constrict it so that you don't need as much blood because you're not really doing much. It's also an afferent fiber so it just sends a signal and the output is whatever happens, dilation or constriction. The next one is proprioceptors. And what this does is it tells you your body position, what's going on around you. Uh, it's kind of as if you're, you're watching yourself. So if this is you, it's like you, you can see what you're doing. All, even though it's inside of your own body. There's three classes of it. There's free nerve endings, Golgi tendon organs, and muscle spindles. Free nerve endings, they just monitor joint capsules. So they monitor, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Joint capsules, they detect the pressure that's being exerted on there. So if you're jumping and when you land again, it's going to see how much pressure is being put on your joints. You do a push-up, it's going to measure the pressure on your fingers and everything so you know exactly how your body is moving along with you. The next one is Golgi tender organs and they lie in between a skeletal muscle. And this one tells you the strain of tendons and ligaments as you're doing something. It also monitors the contractions. And then the last one is muscle spindles, which monitor the length of a skeletal muscle and it's what triggers stretch reflexes. So because of those muscle spindles, you can tell, even with your eyes closed, how far your arm just stretched out, where you're moving it, all these things. It can tell you all the pressure that's being added onto your body, how it's moving, where exactly, and how quickly. And our last general scent is chemoreceptors, which just monitor uh, <laughs> they, they just monitor the pH, carbon dioxide, and oxygen concentration in the, in the body. And if there's anything wrong with it, it'll make changes to fix it. Alright, yay, we're done! Bye.